Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Academy Coordinates. In this video, we're tackling exponential functions. This video is specifically for grade 11. So however, even if you're doing grade 12, feel free to grab your pen and paper and let's do this mess together. Okay, this is an example of an exponential function. And then we're going to look at different maneuvers that happen on this function and the effect that those maneuvers have on the equation of the function, right? We're going to consider both the vertical shift and the horizontal shift of the function. Okay, this is um, the equation we're going to use g of x is equal to a multiplied by b to the x minus p plus q okay first of all let us look at a a is the vertical stretch you know of the graph um when a is positive right a actually affects the shape of the graph how the graph will be when a is positive our graph will be like this or it can also be like this you know what i'm saying when a is positive and then when a is less than zero, right, what do you think the shape would be like, right? When a is less than zero, this is x, this is y, our graph will be something like this. Um, okay, that's not the most perfect graph you've ever seen in your life. Um, okay, cool. Our graph will be something like this. And obviously here we are actually considering the basic cases, you know what I'm saying, where the graph was not shifted, you know what I'm saying, um, you know, either vertically, you know, or, 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 or horizontally, right? So these are the basic cases. And I want us to look at something, guys. Look at this graph and this one, right? It's as if this graph are reflected on the y-axis, you know what I'm saying? And look at these two. It's as if these graphs right are reflected on the x-axis like this and i would like to just put it into your perspective guys um now that i've mentioned something about reflection when you are reflecting on the y-axis right g of x will equals to g of minus x this is um a result of you know reflecting on the y-axis and when you are reflecting on the x-axis, right, g of x will be transformed to minus g of x. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Let us continue, guys. Um, let us look at b. b has got a number of restrictions. First of all, b cannot be negative. Cannot be negative. b cannot be negative let us consider why is that the case you know what i'm saying um for example um let's say we've got negative one squared this is equals to one squared right negative two squared is the same as two squared you know what i'm saying so um, the behavior that we are seeing here is not a behavior of an exponential function and hence b cannot be negative, right? Um, also, b cannot equals to 1. You know what I'm saying? If b is equals to 1, I mean, imagine, guys, um, 1 to the power something. I mean, if um, we've got 1 to the power of something, I mean, like, it's not going to be an exponential function, right? Let's say you've got 1 to the 1. Um, let's see, 1 is equals to, y is equals to 1 to the x, for example. Um, um, y is equals to 1 to the 1, right? This will, um, y equal, will equals to 1. y is equals to 1 to the 2. y will equals to 1. y is equals to 1 to the 3. y will, uh, will equals to y. And also, 1, I mean, this is not the behavior of an exponential function, right? And... Lastly, I want us to consider that um, b is greater than zero, right? And also, b can also be a fraction, you know what I'm saying? Like, for example, let me just um, just um, give you guys maybe an example right there. Let's say this is the graph um, y is equal to 2 to the x, right? This graph... You know a reflection on the y axis will be um, this one will be y is equals to 1 divided by 2 x I mean sorry to the x right uh, let's just put it here y is equals to 
1 divided by 2 to the x, you know. It's this graph, right? Okay, so b can also be a fraction. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. Let's look at q. q is responsible, responsible for the vertical, for the vertical shift of the function, of the function, you know what I'm saying, or the graph, right? Such that when q is positive, you know, if q is greater than zero, then um, this will result into an upward shift, right? And then if q is negative, this will result into a downward shift, right? Okay, um, I think I can just um, mention it now that q, right, will be what a horizontal asymptote you know so there'll be an equation like y is equals to q and this q will be a horizontal asymptote it's sort of going to be a horizontal line i'm going to speak about that shortly okay let's look at p you know uh, previously when we look at exponential functions we considered only um vertical shift such that q accounted for that but now p is the is the responsible is responsible for the horizontal shift of the function you know okay let us look here guys y is equals to a b x minus p right and let's say p itself is positive right um, y is equals to a to the b x plus p. p itself is positive, right? I want us to look at the effect of p because, you know, um, p confused quite a number of people as to it's as if it has got an, an opposite effect, right? We're able to establish, uh, for example, that um, when q is positive, this will be an upward shift. When Q is negative, this will be a downward shift. Let's look now at P, right? When P itself, for example, here is positive, and then we have got a, a function like this. Let's say A is positive. We've got a function like this, um, X minus P. When this is the case, the entire function is shifted P units to the right. And this one, the function is shifted p unit, p unit to the left, right? Such that, okay, p units to the right, um, um, maybe it might be somewhere here, right? Um, p might be somewhere here. Maybe the function is shifted p units to the right, and this one, the function might be shifted p units, you know what I'm saying, to the left, you know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. Let us continue. Okay. Let's say we've got a function um, y is equals to 1 multiplied by 2 to the power x minus 1. y is equals to 1 multiplied by 2 to the power x plus 1. For example, um, this graph y is equals to 2 to the x this one it this graph okay actually there is it this graph will be shifted you know here right one unit to the right so the, the entire function will go to the right so here this graph will be shifted one unit to the left so the entire function will like go to the left you know what i'm saying Okay, cool. But be careful, guys. Um, I think I have to mention it that um, in as much as this is the case, you know, we're dealing with hyperbolic functions and they were asymptote. Just note that um, at x is equals to one, right? This function will 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 be defined. You know, same applies here, right? Even um, so basically, in as much as it, this one is shifted um one unit to the left right and this one is one inch to the right it does not necessarily mean that 
P is equals to um, 1, for example. P is equals to negative 1 for this one. Then P is equals to P is equals to 1 for this one. It does not necessarily mean that this is the vertical asymptote. You know what I'm saying? Because of the graph will actually be defined there. Okay. Okay, on the next video, we're going to do an actual example. Um, I've realized that the video is becoming longer, you know, than um, I actually intended. So on the next video, we're going to do an actual example. We're actually going to see, you know, the impacts of all of these elements, you know, that are housed in an exponential function, you know, um, equation right and we're also going to interpret the function we're going to find the domain of the function the range of the function the values of x where the function is, is increasing values of x where the function is decreasing right um all right guys do stay awesome stay blessed have a fantastic day